Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you an Ubers battle against Flaming Axel, a uh, loyal subscriber, someone who I've battled with before on this channel. Um, he wanted a battle with me, and he I asked which tier, and he said, Little Cup? And I said, no, you already kicked my ass in Little Cup, let's do something else. And so he was like, well, what about Ubers? So like, yeah, Ubers is great, Ubers would be perfect. So um, I'm using the same team, uh, haven't really done any modifications, I think I swapped out, oh no, that's not true, I did two uh, kind of important modifications. I changed the EV spread on Chance and I gave Dialga light leftovers instead of life orb. So he's at the top of the Genesect as I have my Dialga in the lead. I don't see a spinner on this team nor a defogger, so I figure get up my rocks and uh, just get that out of the way and it'll be good because I, you know, especially with this guy, um, Genesect does a lot of switching um, and you know, when you've got a Genesect that switches. Oh, and plus he's got Life Orb, so not the Scarf set, very interesting. Um, but that means that he's going to be taking a lot of residual damage, and so having the rocks up is a really good idea. So he sends out his Aegis Slash, his shiny Aegis Slash, um, and I am not particularly worried. I mean, I know that he can go for... I mean... Well, Shadow, Shadow Ball is not resisted, I figured, but I can hit him with a Fire Blast, and that might even take him out. It misses, and that is lame. Uh, so now, he, now he's in blade form, and he goes for the Sacred Sword, but I'm thinking, I think I can survive this because I'm pretty bulky, and indeed I can. And I don't think he can take me out with a Shadow, uh, shadow Sneak, so I'm thinking, I think I can take him out with a Fire Blast now. Um, of course, you know, he realizes the same thing. He goes into Shield form, um, go, and so, yeah, wasted turn, and that sucks. Uh, but I'm not sure in general whether uh, Dialga can take out Aegis Slash with a Fire Blast, but I know that I can do a huge, huge chunk of damage to him at the very least. So here I go ahead, go for the Fire Blast, and I'm like, okay, let's see how much this does. It doesn't actually take him out, not by like a wide margin, so I'm, I'm really impressed there. Um, he has weakness policy. This is like the second weakness policy... Um, I, I don't know, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of weakness policy Aegis Slashes lately. Um, but that's, that means that basically the, the first turn miss didn't actually matter, because if I had uh, hit the first turn, then a weakness policy would have activated and he would have just taken me out on the first turn. So, um, yeah, hacks kind of balanced out there, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Shadow Sneak. He predicts that, obviously, goes into shield form, um, and that's going to prevent me from getting the KO. Uh, and it's going to uh, lower my attack harshly. I could have gone for the Earthquake, I guess, but I didn't want to take the damage from the Shadow Sneak. I figured maybe I can actually take him out, even in shield form. Um, no, I'm, I'm really under underestimating just how bulky this thing is. So now he goes into uh, sh into uh, Blade form, go uh, goes for the Shadow Sneak. That does a metric ton of damage, does not take me out, and now I just go for another Shadow Sneak. Now he could have stalled me out again, but, you know, uh, based on the amount of damage, even at minus four, I'm pretty sure I could have taken him out at that range of health, even in shield form. So that is a dead Aegis Slash, but my Giratina is basically dead. It's down to such low HP. He goes out into his Genesect. I'm gonna want to switch out, quite obviously. Um, he, he downloads uh, his, his, his special attack boost sort of thing. Um, I think that, you know, based on, if he goes for a special move, Chansey should be able to tank pretty much anything. So I go out into Chansey, you, you'll notice its HP is lower than it was before, um, but all that, all those EVs have gone into special defense investment, so look at how little that did. Um, I just figure, you know, this thing has not been able to take a hit, uh, from anything. Look at, I mean, so a critical hit U-turn, and that, that crit mattered. Um, because I still don't have Protect on this guy. That, I need to put Protect on it. And it means that I have to either sacrifice uh, Toxic or I have to sacrifice um, uh, Seismic Toss, but I think it's worth it. So uh, what, this, what this means is even though I'm, I am able to get off my Wish here, so I don't have Protect. If I had Protect, I could just go for the Protect and it would be fine. I'm actually thinking that he's going to go into... He's going to be... I think this is a Mewtwo X, and I figured... Uh, you know, I should probably go into um, my Giratina and predict the Drain Punch, but that was risky. And so I figured, I'll just go out into my Mewtwo Y, and no matter what he does, I'll be fine. Uh, and so indeed, he is a Mewtwo X. He, go, he went for the Psycho Cut, he obviously predicted me to go into Giratina, and so I'm glad I didn't. So now Feynman is going to be back up to full HP after that wish, and I'm going to be able to Mega Evolve, and I've got nothing to fear from this Mewtwo. I'm actually going to go for the Calm Mind, because I really think that he's going to switch out, because why wouldn't you switch out? It just seems like the, the, the correct move here. So Calm Mind, really cool animation. This is another thing I need to change. Uh, I think that Mewtwo Y is actually better 
better as four attacks because it's it's pretty frail. Uh, he goes for the bulk up. Um, that actually is a good move because uh, Psy Strike hits on the defensive side, so my combine gets um, knocked out by his uh, but a bulk up. Uh, he goes ahead and hits me with a Drain Punch. That's not going to do much. That's resisted. I mean, it, okay, it did a third. Uh, a little more than a third. It did like 70 each. I don't know. So, yeah, whatever. About a third. Let's just go with a third. I go for another side Strike, and that is going to take him out, no problem. But now I am in Revenge range. I'm thinking he's probably going to go out into his Deoxys just to hit me with the Extreme Speed. Instead, he goes out into his Genesect. I'm like, why would you do that? I'm faster. You don't have the Scarf. I can just take you out with... Mm, you know, any Aura Sphere, 100% accurate Aura Sphere. And so that's why I go, and then he goes for Extreme Speed, like, ah, I keep forgetting! I keep forgetting that Genesect got Extreme Speed as an event move last generation towards the end of Gen, uh, Gen 5. So, yeah, that sucked that I forgot about that, and oh well. Um, I think Chansey can take the Extreme Speed. I'm hoping it can. Uh, and indeed, it does survive at 15 HP. And this Genesect is getting pretty low with his health, so I go for the Wish here. And I'm going to do something risky, but, you know, Chansey's dead, um, and if it gets taken out, it's going to be dead anyway. So I got into Dura, hoping that he goes for another extreme speed, even though that wouldn't have been the good move. He goes for the U-turn, which was the correct move, uh, and I'm like, can I survive? No, cannot survive that. So Wasted Wish, dead Giratina O, sad pandas all around. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, but he's losing a lot of health. I don't think he can survive another switch in. Ooh, really, excuse me. Um, I was going to set out Groudon, and I'm thinking this battle is over for me. <coughs> I'm just not liking my odds here, and I'm not liking this cop at all. <laughs> excuse me. I send out Xerneas. Not going to go for um, the Geomancy because <coughs> he's got the Ditto, and I don't want to. I don't want him to have a scarfed uh, Xerneas with Geomancy. So I go for the Moon Blast. Does surprisingly little, little, but I figure uh, to a KO. I go for another one. He survives thanks to min damage, and I get a special defense down. That's great. That helps me not at all. Now I'm down to a um, Chansey who's basically dead, and Ditto who, I, you know, if I send it in, it transforms into uh, Groudon, and that's not really helpful because he can take me out with anything. So uh, I, I have no other choice. I do go out and I transform into Ditto, um, and. I go ahead and Earthquake, take him out, <clears throat> and I'm just not sure what I'm going to do here. Now, his Ditto cannot transform into me. That's a good thing. Um, he goes out into Deoxys now, and I figure, there's a chance I can win this. There's a small, small chance I can win this if I play my cards right and he does not see what I'm doing. <coughs> I go out into Curie. He's got to take me out. And I got so angry that he went for the Psycho Boost. He was like, no, the Psycho Boost, that's going to ruin the strategy because now he's going to be at minus two, uh, two attack, and so I'm going to go in and transform into it. I'm not going to have quite the firepower that I would otherwise. Um, then again, I think, well, what move would I want to lock, my, what move would I want to lock myself into? Well, it's Extreme Speed anyway, um, because he, he's probably got the Extreme Speed, and so if I don't lock myself into Extreme Speed, then, you know, I'm dead anyway. Um, so... Okay, I'm going to do Extreme Speed, and he's going to switch out here, and I'm like, ooh, that's great. <coughs> Go out into Genesect. Um, so, I'm, it's going to die because it's slower, uh, way, way slower, especially considering I'm Scarf, and um, the download doesn't matter, and also it's a switch in, and I, you know, he's gotten so much, even though he resists it, he's gotten so much residual damage. I think this is the first attack I've actually hit him with. Um, and that's all been residual damage from his switches and from his life orb. So now out is going to come Ditto. And he can't transform into me because I'm a Ditto. You can't transform into an already transformed Ditto. Or a not transformed Ditto, I suppose. I go for E-Speed. Does not take him out, but he can't do anything. All he can do is transform. So, holy shit, I have won this game. I think, actually, have I? Have I? I'm not sure. Because can uh, Deoxys A survive its own extreme speed? The answer is an emphatic yes. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's an emphatic no. It cannot survive its own extreme speed, unless it was sashed, and I have the rocks up anyway, it wasn't sashed because it was life orb. No problem at all. Go for the E speed. I'm gonna take out his Deoxys, and holy crap, I have won this battle. I did not think I would have won this battle when I was down to Ditto and a Chansey, and he had like four Pokemon left. So that's incredible, great game. Um, 
Flaming Axel, you played really, really well. Comment, uh, folks, comment, rate, subscribe, challenge, and stay healthy. Don't get a cold.